As shown by many videos, Source Filmmaker has the ability to use models from Gary's Mod for animated videos. However, there's a few issues regarding some of the models, one of which is eye manipulation. Some models simply do not have the same ability as Half-Life 2 or Team Fortress 2 models that allow you to move eyes at will. So here's a quick guide to get them to work. Bear in mind, I don't have that much experience in 3D editing and the Source Engine in general, so if I make a mistake here and there, or if there's a simpler solution, feel free to correct me and I'll add an annotation to the video. Here's what you'll need to fix it. GUI Studio MDL and the source files for your model. If you don't have the source for the model, ask the model to upload the source files or recompile the model altogether. If the creator for some reason doesn't share the code or he or she is not working on the models anymore, you can decompile the model, though this is very risky. Leave decompiling as a last resort. First, go ahead and place the models you want in the Source Filmmaker user mod directory, and it's usually Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Games, User Mod. If you don't know how to install Gmod models, click the screen to find out how. Now place the source files anywhere on your computer. I usually have a folder in my home directory for organization's sake. Among the source code files, you find a .qc file. Open it up in Notepad or some other text editing tool. Now the basic structure of the QC file will vary depending on the model you're editing, but the necessary changes are made usually at the end or near the end of the dollar sign model model name function as shown here. Place these two lines near the bottom of said function, at least before the ending curly brace. Also be sure to change any backslashes with forward slashes in the QC file. Now save the QC file. Next, open up GUI Studio MDL. It may give an error at the beginning, but this is not an issue. Under SDK version, click the orange box button. Now click on the add button and search for SFM's gameinfo.txt file, which is usually in program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, source filmmaker, game, user mod, gameinfo.txt. Now click on file, load QC file, and find the .qc file that you edited earlier. Now click on Compile. Bear in mind that the program may appear to freeze during compilation. This is normal. Do not close the window or force quit the program. If the program gives an error during compiling, such as a line of code not working like this, try deleting the line, although be careful, and always make a backup file in case something were to go wrong. Once it's complete, open up SFM and load the model to see if it worked. I'll show you how to decompile a model, though please remember that this has the potential to make the model unusable. Again, use this method as a last resort if you cannot access the source files. You've been warned. Install the source SDK by going to Tools in Steam and downloading it from the list. Never mind the base kits. Now download the tools and extract them from zip files. i placed the links in the description. You don't have to install both MDL Decompiler and Studio Compiler, just one or the other. Next, place the MDL Decompiler or Studio Compiler executable in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, your username, Source SDK, Ben, Ep1, Ben. This directory is the one that made it work for me, but if you have issues, you can use it in Orange Box Ben instead of Ep1 Ben. Run the program and find the model within the Source Filmmaker directory you saved it in. Find a directory to extract the model to. It could be anywhere on your computer, though I usually have a folder in my home directory for organization's sake. Now extract the file. Remember, this extraction step is only necessary if you do not have access to the model's source files. If the creator of the model pack has the source available, you don't need the extractors or the source SDK. If the program does not allow you to open the model, open the model in Notepad instead or some other text editor. You'll find the letters IDST0 right at the beginning. Replace the zero with a comma and save the file. Now the program should be able to open the model. Now follow the steps for compiling and you should be able to move the eyes like this. Special thanks to Foxtel 8000 for much of the information provided.